Rachel here with Sins of Tempo County Corso. I've got a surprise for you. I got chickens. 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 I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited, excited, excited about my chicken, chicken, chickens. Yep. I'm so tired, you guys. I had to wake up so early. And I have a hard time with getting up in the morning anyway. Or really, I should say getting to sleep. So, um, move. So anyway, so yeah, so isn't necessarily the easiest thing for me. Dude, back off. Um, but yeah, they're super cute. So I have them in my living room as they grow because my dogs, I want them to get used to the smell of them and the sight of them, seeing how they act, um, seeing how they move so that they um, are more acclimated to them and the birds also to them. That way they don't feel the need to try to um, chase after them. Ooh. Daddy just taught his daughter a lesson. Rukia. Rukia. So they've actually been here since, um, since this morning. Yeah, Preacher tries to guard them. He doesn't like anybody messing with them. So he, he, so he runs everybody off. He's so used to having babies in the box that he's like... Oh, look at him. Oh, correction. So these are these are apparently let's see look at that he he just chased look at that so yeah yep so preacher has taken it upon himself to guard the birds um but so what I did is I got. I can't even tell you all the different kinds I got. I have it written down, but I don't remember them right offhand. But, um, shh, quiet. I got 12 female, Rookie, no. I got 12 um, females, uh, they're called pullets. And then I got five assortment, um, it's called a straight run. So some of them may be female and some of them may be male. There's no telling yet. I'm hoping that I have at least one male in here so that I can have some babies. That's the idea. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. I had to be up super early this morning to take Kashmir to the vet. Um, she was spayed today. Um, we did everything. We checked her for everything before she's heading up to New Hampshire. So not only was she spayed, but she had heartworm testing, nails trimmed, um, yeah, just everything. He just did a whole, you know, a checkup on her and everything was good. She's looking really good. And, um, kind of a sad day, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've had it in the back of my mind that, um, shh, quiet down. I've had it in the back of my mind that cashmere is going to go, but it hasn't really hit yet until today. Um, yep, the finality of it all. And don't get me wrong, like, as sad as I am about it, because I do love cashmere a lot. She was, um, when, I, when I bought her, I um, didn't really know that I was going to do breeding to this extent. And so... Um, and so I kind of, she was more of a pet, you know, and um, in my mind, you know, and then, um, and, and then as we, well, she got a correction. And then as things changed, as we, yeah, her stepdad, yeah. As, um, as the um, program changed, then, you know, we got more females and this and that. And, um, unfortunately 
we had to make room for new dogs and we have to continue to, right? Because I'm gonna be keeping something out of Velocity and then I'm gonna be keeping something out of Belladonna and then once Nirvana's bred, I'll keep something out of her and Vitani's bred, I'll keep something out of her. And and pretty soon, if you, if you keep every dog you have, then you end up in a situation where you um, are unable to give your dogs any type of quality attention. And so I knew that the right thing to do was to um, rehome Kashmir, he should be there, into a home where um, she could be loved and given that one-on-one -on -one attention that she's used to and that, and that she deserves, you know? Um, and so, well, I feel great about the fact that she's going into an excellent home. I've seen pictures of their property. They've been with me, um, every step of the way. And I, I literally, um, you know, I, you know, absolutely think that it's going to be the best possible situation on the flip side. It's still sad because I love her and it's kind of the end of a season. You know what I mean? Um, and so, um, so anyway, so I'm glad that she made it out of her surgery okay, and I have an appointment on Monday um, at a different vet to go and have um, velocity and ultrasound done, and I'm going to see if they can fit me in to see if they can do a serum out of Cashmere's blood like they did for Batista for her ulcer, because it really hasn't gotten better. And um, hopefully that'll also fix itself. And and then she'll be going to her new home in April next month, you know. Um, and, you know, like I said, I, I, I know that it's the right thing for her. It's, it's the best thing for her, but it is still a hard thing for me. Um, and I think that it's always a hard decision to do what's in somebody else's best interest and not necessarily what's in your own. And... I know that a lot of people think that um, there are people that think that, you know, it's going to be hard for her. And sure, I mean, you know, the truth is even whenever I rehome puppies, it's hard for them. You know, just leaving their home, their pack mates, their litter mates, their family is hard for them. So for the first day or two, even puppies that I sell um, oftentimes have, um, have to adjust and Cashmere will too, but she's going to be loved and given attention and be the queen in a way that she can't be anymore here. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it'll just be a wonderful, wonderful place. And I try to keep that in my mind. Um, but today was a hard day for me. Like I said, it was, it was, it's one thing to kind of know and you just kind of, I'm the kind of person I work a lot. So I, I, um, I put it in the back of my mind but, but I know, you know what I mean? And today was just one of those days where I really couldn't put it in the back of my mind. But, um, but anyway, but, you know, I realized that a lot of people that are on the channel, they really love to bond with my animals and it's hard for them as well. And I appreciate the people that are willing to take this journey with me, knowing that at times it's going to be hard when we have to make decisions like this. Um... And so I do have something, a little surprise that is going to be, I'm going to be showing you guys tomorrow. Shh, quiet down. I'm going to show you guys tomorrow. And it's going to be something that I think will kind of help with the people that are really looking to bond. And they don't want to have to worry about um, an animal not staying or something like that. So anyway, just wanted to kind of give you guys that little teaser. And then, of course, you know, share with you my new chickens. Um, really excited about my new chickens. So they're running away from me. Um, Come here. No, they're running away. Like, nah. I know they're so adorable. Come here. I love them. Blondie, stay put. No, get back. So anyway, um, you're gonna grab one. Yeah. All right. Well, my battery's almost dead, so be careful. Be gentle, Savannah. Be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle. There you go. Let's get it up close. Let me say hi. Be careful. Don't fall now. Don't step on any of them either. Have it in the light. There's a light out over here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I don't know. You can see. 
A little chicken. Chicken. The little chicken. Blondie's watching. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, no, it doesn't oh. want to. It wants to. I don't like that. If I touch my screen on my Apple, it won't focus where I want it to. It focuses on what it wants to, which sucks. Look at that. He's so cute. But here we go. That's better. Yay. Yep. Sweet baby. Little That's chicken. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are having a good night. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.